had, but uh, he had a detachable uh, detachable steering wheel that mm. he had in a little cubby in in his driving compartment, whereby when you took the tracks off, he would pull out the steering wheel, plug the steering wheel in, and then he could drive along. Yeah. Ha uh, quite happily saying uh, uh, steering steering his tank, and then there was now, also a train chain drive from the uh, drive wheel to the rear the wheel, wheel. The rear wheels so actually mm. give you a propulsion. And propulsion. that was in the early ones had the chain drive, and then some of the mid series BTS um, they changed a um, sprocket, um, and uh, so it was a more um, yep. direct tooth drive. Uh, and then in the later BTs, they said, this is really stupid. Um, our roads are crap. We need tracks everywhere. What's yeah. the point of this? This is extra weight and complication. But, um, and then they just ha were fast tracked tanks. Yes. But, yeah. but it, mm -hmm. it was a useful design. And uh, if uh, if you had lots of good roads, uh, it would have been very useful. But do uh, you know what Russia doesn't have in the 1930s? Good roads. A lot of good roads. <laughs> Does not have a lot of those. <laughs> Does not have a lot of those. So. And, and you can make the argument that in any era, in any time, <coughs> good roads will be um, a uh, key target of the enemy. So, yeah. yeah. All right. But the BT-7s, they got up to 86 kilometres an hour without the tracks. So that's pretty bloody fast. Or 52 uh, kilometres an hour with the tracks, which yeah. is still um, a speed at which any attempt to turn will um, see the tank and the tracks uh, depart. Uh, company. All right, but, yeah. so that's our stats, and we'll get we'll get we'll throw some more stats later on. All right, design and development. Sorry,